There are so many occasions in the life of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he actually ordered. He actually ordered them to write. And then he got it written himself. Like Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who had a remarkable memory. And when he used to hear the words of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to memorize them. And companions used to come complaining to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of their short shortness of their memory that they could not remember the words of hadith as as properly as Hazrat Abu Huraira used to. And Prophet Sallallahu used to instruct them to write it down. For a better memory, Prophet Sallallahu used to ask them, instruct them, and order them to write down the words of hadith. A person came over to Prophet Sallallahu from the Kabila of Homer from the tribe of Umair and he asked Prophet Sallallahu about the drink which I was talking about just the last day, the intoxicating drink. And Prophet Sallallahu told him that it was forbidden. And he said that I will accept because I've heard it with my own ears and I'm a witness to what you've told me. But when I take these orders to the to the people of my tribe, they will they will not accept it. And then Prophet Sallallahu asked the companions, Uktubuli Abisha, put it down. Write it down. Write these orders for Abu Shah. So then, because of this, the previous words of the Hadith, number one, are annulled and abrogated. The Hadith where Prophet Sallallahu stopped them does not hold and did not hold even in the life of the Prophet Sallallahu And so during the life of Prophet Sallallahu as Quran was written and memorized, so was Hadith written and memorized. Many companions, starting from Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who to Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala and who, they used to write hadith. And they are sahifas. They, they had their notebooks. Sahifai Ali, Sahifai Hazrat Abu Huraira, which Hazrat Hamam bin Munabahi used this sahifa of Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who to compile Sahifai Hamam bin Munabba. And then Hazrat Abdullah bin Masood and so many companions of the Prophet ﷺ, they used to write hadiths. And all these companions, they wrote with intense honesty and full sensitivity because they knew that Prophet ﷺ has said, Man faqad min nar. That anyone who, who, know, who knowingly, intentionally, who intentionally, knowingly fabricated falsehood with me will make his seat in hell fire. So they were extremely sensitive. They were, they were intensely honest to write down the words of Hadith. And then the period next after the companions, after the Sahaba Ikram, were the Tabayin and the Taba Tabayin. The period of Tabayin and the period of Taba Tabayin is well known that from morning till evening were, were they calling out, call Allah wa call Rasulullah, that Allah has said this and Prophet Sallallahu has said this. This was the period where memorizers of Hadith were very, very common. And then it was in this period of Taba Tabayin which is like 200 years after the death of Prophet Sallallahu that Imam Malik compiled Mota Imam Malik. And this Mota Imam Malik is present till now. And this was written down. This was written down from all the informations and all the compilations of the companions of the Tabayin and of the Taba Tabayin that Imam Malik compiled his Mota Imam Malik. And this Mota Imam Malik was the major source of the basic big books of Hadith which was written in the period after this. May it be Bukhari, Muslim, Tirmizi, Ibn Majah, Nisai, Mustad Ahmad, Abu Daud. The basic source was Mota Imam Malik. 